This is saying something. This is so unique. You believe it, it works. You don't believe it, it still works. This is a big difference between Western science and Chinese science, especially talking about in healing. Chinese healing focused at the very beginning, not on the body, not on the cells to begin with, but focus on the formation of the universe. At the time, the, when, when the concept of universe mainly is the solar system, they discover something is very interesting. Every year we have a 12 month and we have 12 major energy channels in the body. And the original founding of energy points, now people call it acupuncture point, are 365 points. When you look at the inner uh, classic, inner classic of Yellow Emperor, and you will find this information. This is like uh, the first, most fundamental book who, which the whole dynamic and system of Chinese medicine. And any Chinese medicine, uh, acupuncture, tuina, cupping, qigong, tai chi, they all came from this book. It is that powerful, this book. So they through the study the nature, the land, trees, observation of the behavior of animals, then they found out there's something very unique existing in the universe, and this thing is qi. Qi creates everything. Qi has yin and yang. In order to, and the body actually is the miniature of the universe. That's why they call this body is a small universe. How we can apply this philosophy into our healing then? That is a very, very important bridge, bridging the science into health, the science into spirituality, and science into emotional balancing. And through a deeper study, they found out this chi has three levels, basically. The first level is as a form of a material force. It runs like an electricity runs through the body, making everything moving. And then the second level is, it, it has consciousness. This chi knows what to do for you in the body. And the chi has intelligence. The intelligence includes the blueprint, the life pattern of your life, and also the intelligence of the entire universe. That is the key understanding of this miraculous healing case studies like my friend just shared with me no medicine practicing qigong i had my colon cancer disappeared that intelligence has all the information to help you to re-download the information of your life that's the moment complete healing takes place These energy points, buttons, can help you to take care of urgent need. That means your symptoms. Stop the headaches, stop vomiting right away. You can feel better right away. That's great. But you know what? Do you know what is the real cost of this blockage, of this symptom in your body? The headaches could be caused by the congestion in the tailbone. And now the vomiting could be from your intestines, it could be from your lungs, it could be from the base of the head, it could be from your brain. You might not know. And some doctors, even the best Chinese doctors, make mistakes, you know, left out, you know, that part of the body without paying any attention. Actually, that is the root, that's the location of the root of that symptom, the blockage. And how can we heal our body more completely and going to the root? Well, here it, here it is, the movement. Doing this movement, and this movement will get you into the serenity and hook you up to the court, to the source, to help to ignite 
the qi, the intelligence of the body, ignite the code of your life blueprint. That's the moment the body heals completely because the intelligence knows exactly what to do for you from head to toe. And you don't need to worry about that. So in order to harvest this beautiful, beautiful fruit, you know what? The only way you can do that, you can succeed in doing that, is practice. Practice, 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 turn in and practice, and practice, make it complete. Now, let's do our practice for today. So stand. So we're going to bounce the body, drop your shoulders, smile, bend your knees a little, put your tongue against the roof of the mouth, and the elbows moved out a little, and the fingers open, and put a smile on your face. What smile stands for? Now let's say it together every day we do this. Start my internal love engine. Hmm, you activate the love energy from every cell in the body to help you throughout the whole day. Tell the universe, the universe, I love you. Thank you so much for your kindness, for your love, for your forgiveness. At this moment, with my heart so open, please send me more your unconditional love and healing power to help me to open all the energy centers, all the energy channels, and all the energy blockages in my body, if I have any, so that I can be healed completely. As I'm healed, I'm going to share a lot of joy, happiness, healing, love, and peace with my family, with my friends, my community, and even with the world. And I thank you. Then you start feeling the tingly sensation in your hands. Then. You say the past words of our Qigong practice. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Feel that your body and the universe merging together as one. And then you stop bouncing. Bounce. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Do it gently. Take. Like uh, three seconds to inhale, and four, five, six seconds or more to exhale. Focus on the exhaling a little bit longer time to enhance the healing power from within and bounce with the rhythm you feel comfortable. And smile, smile, smile. And you remember what does this movement do for you? It helps you to awaken all the energy centers and channels in the entire body for deeper meditation, for deeper penetration. And you connect yourself to the earth, to the universe. Now have your hands up. Continue to bounce. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let go with the wrist. Let go with the torso but keep your spine straight, relaxedly. Now you are aware of what you are doing. So do you notice you combine all the three secrets of Qigong practice together now? The Qigong relaxation, awareness, and focus on the feeling throughout the entire practice. Now you can put your hands down. Slowly stop. Now today we're gonna to practice breathing of the universe. Now slowly bend your knees a little, slowly hold your hands up, like holding a basketball, fingers open like a grasping a ball. Inhale, take three seconds or so, inhale, and four, five, even longer seconds to exhale. Use elbows to guide the movement. See the elbows go out first, and exhale, the elbows go in first before the hands feel now solely on the tingly sensation in your hands feel how good you feel once you focus on this tingly sensation in your hands that's the moment you turn in 
You don't need to worry about your symptoms and how this energy goes in to help me to clear my diarrhea, headaches. You don't need to analyze it because you are awakening the intelligence of the qi, and the qi helps you to do the rest of the work. What you need to do? Just enjoy this moment. Now slowly, you put your hands down and straight up your knees. Take a deep breath. Now you can sit down. When you sit down, make sure you you feel comfortable. That is very important because more you are relaxed, faster the channels are going to open. Put your hands on the lap. Close your eyes. Continue to wear that beautiful. True smile on your face. Keep that unconditional love energy going. Now we're going to do the dolphining. Inhale, lift up your chin and stretch forward just a little bit to scoop that golf ball through your visualization and hold it a little bit tight on your neck. And exhale, lift the ball up towards to the ceiling and on purpose lean back a little. For sec two seconds, continue to exhale, and then inhale again. Reach out your chin to scoop that ball, connect it to your neck, and exhale and lift the ball up to the ceiling, and lean back for two seconds. Now continue to do this with your own rhythm while you're listening to me. Make sure you drop your shoulders. Make sure your fingers are slightly stretch. All these movements will help you to keep your body in a good awareness mode, and that's the way you relax yourself too. Relax. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes and rub your hands together. And massage your face. Now the two fingers push along the bridge of the nose to the forehead, and then put your hands to both sides and、uh, and go down. All right. So cup the top of the head nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now tap the beginning of the eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the middle of the face here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so cup the elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The whole arm from the shoulder down to the wrist. Now the right arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From the shoulder down. Okay, so cup the underarm here. So always start from the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, why do we cup this area? The vibration from the sides can go into the lungs to help to clear energy blockages. So now、um, massage the hagu point. Ten seconds. And if you want to close your eyes and sending light into it, and that's even better. Solely focus on the feeling in this spot. Now go to the right hand and massage. Feel the feeling and send light into that spot. Okay. So now middle of the palm, massage like ten seconds, sending light and let go with the hand. Yeah, just like what I do. And here is the right hand and relax. Now let's massage the two energy points in the back of the head. So here, right from the about two inches from the middle of the head towards to the sides at the base of the、uh, scalp, put your thumb over here and massage. If you feel soreness in this area, that means you have energy blockages in the in this area. And,、uh, these blockages could cause headaches. Vomiting, dizziness,、uh, fever, 
and many many things. So massage it; they can help to stop that. Okay, that's very good. Now, on the next one is and in, uh, in integrate your fingers and to chop it. This is very good for your throat and also for for your spine too. Especially if you have a, a sclerosis in the upper part of the back, and also this is a very helpful exercise for helping the qi flow along your spine. All right, the last one is cup the knees nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. Alright, so that's the end of today's practice.